Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to look at a feature that's new to TPC Desktop 2016. It's the ability to translate and rotate survey space drawing objects when I do a Kogo translate and rotate. So I've opened the sample subdivision survey here. And if I open the point manager, we'll see that I've used a local grid for this. And I've started at coordinates 5,000, 5,000. The other way to tell that I'm on a local grid is to bring up the survey information. And for the coordinate reference system, it tells me local. So I've just assumed some coordinates. Um, and I've entered information off of prior surveys, off of uh, my own survey. And uh, I've got everything on a local grid here. But now let's say that I want to uh, export this out to Google Earth, or I want to uh, create uh, GIS files for these lots in here. Or I want to send it out through Land XML, and I want all of those to be uh, based on the physical location of, of uh, these um, features. And, and so I need to get it to the right latitude, longitude, or coordinates based on my coordinate reference system. So I've got some information from the county here. I've just put it in the report view real quickly. And the CRS coordinates per county are translate point 304 to this coordinate position and rotate so that 304 to 317 is at this, this bearing. And if I zoom in here real quick, I can see that I tied some of these county right-of-way points uh, in the process. And here's point 304. And if I zoom up here to the sort of the northwest corner of this drawing, I'll get over to the point 317, which is way out here at the end. So those are the points that are going to control. And I want these uh, points in the survey to end up at known positions then when I'm done with that. So let's go ahead and set up our coordinate reference system first. I'm going to go to Tools, Survey Information, and let's switch to an NAD83, Continental US. We're in Oregon South here. And we're using GRS80 and International Feet. So we're, we're good with that now. What this does is that uh, the coordinate reference system, of course, relates geodetic positions with coordinates. And uh, the county uh, may publish both. And uh, I can use both. I happen to pull in the coordinates for these uh, county points. And we're going to use that in this example. So I've got my coordinate reference system in here now. If I go back to my survey information, it tells me I'm using NED83. And let's do our translation and rotation. So I'm going to tell Traverse PCI I want to translate. I'm going to choose the entire survey. I'm going to turn on this drawings option. That's important. I'm going to tell it I want to move point 304 so that when I'm all done, point 304 ends up at, at uh, this position. So I'm going to copy in the x coordinates from the report view. And let's copy in our northing coordinates from the report view. And let's go ahead and uh, compute this. So Traverse PC has now translated the entire survey so that uh, the coordinates of point 304 uh, end up where the county published them. And if I come back to my point manager now, of course, you can see that these have all been translated accordingly. Now, what's really important to notice here, then, is that all of this survey space stuff got translated with it. And I'm going to just highlight survey space in yellow. So you can see this is the part that actually got translated. And if we jump in and just take a look here real quick, of course, things like the line labels are uh, associated with the line. So if the line gets translated, the labels get translated. Uh, same with lot labels. But what about this leader that we drew here? It's just a leader on the zero layer. And here's some text that we put in on the zero layer. Well, these got translated also. So these are also at new positions. And if I put the cursor over that, I can see that the insert point for those is now a coordinate reference system coordinate. This would tie in uh, to the county's uh, position for this, this point. So I basically have translated all the stuff in this drawing. Now, the, the great thing is, remember I said I've got other drawings as well. So they got translated too. And we'll look at that in just a moment. Let's do the next step down here, which is to do the rotation. 
So we're going to rotate. Again, we're going to tell it we're going to rotate the entire survey. We're going to check the drawings toggle that says I want to rotate these drawings as well. And we're going to rotate about 0 0.304. And we're going to rotate so that 304 to 317 is uh, the bearing. And we want a bearing of 138, 2240. So northeast, uh, 38, 2240. And it gives us a, a pretty small degree of, of rotation, okay, 1.15. And uh, we're going to hit compute. And in addition to rotating all of the survey data, now Traverse PC has also rotated the survey space information. So once again, this same leader and label, along with the other uh, survey space uh, objects that we added, got rotated. Now, remember I said we had other drawings in here, and that that's when this becomes important. So let's just take a look here. Look at all of these uh, drawings I have for each lot out here. Okay, And again, I, I added some information out here for street names or whatever. And all of that got translated and rotated uh, with the drawing. Okay, That's what's really, really nice about this, is that I didn't have to come back and tell Traverse PC uh, I've got to do each drawing independently. It just took care of it for me. And then, of course, the whole reason I did this is so that I could turn around and do something like export this to KML. So I'm going to choose Google KMZ. I can do KML or KMZ. Pick the options that I want. I'm going to tell it I want to write out just this drawing. I don't want to send out uh, everything here. Let's update that here. Okay, we want to do the entire drawing, plat page one. Let's export it so it sent the 26 traverses in the one layer. Let's preview that now. And here's my subdivision in uh, Google Earth. And I've got the positions in here based on the county's coordinates for this right-of-way that the uh, lots are joined. So I expect it to come in and, and look pretty much right um, as far as Google Earth is concerned, and probably pretty much right as far as GIS is concerned. And then I can, I can do the same kind of rotation translation uh, to get on uh, maybe an RTK network or whatever I'm using for my uh, GNSS uh, stakeout out here. And it's just a great way then for me to make sure that everything tracks with the survey when I do a translation and rotation. OK, let's come back and just look at one final thing that um, may have concerned you in this video. I went ahead and rotated this 1 degree 15 minutes so that I would be on the county coordinate system. But that would have changed the labels on my lines, because remember that label is tied to the survey line. So I might have simply said, OK, if that gets me the coordinates I want for this part of the project I'm working on, but I don't want to, I don't want to keep those. So I can simply undo, and Traverse PC just put everything back where it was, the survey data and the drawing objects. And that works for translation just as well. And now I have the option of coming in and saying, you know, uh, what I'd rather do is rotate this survey on the page by a minute and 15. Okay, so I can come into drawing settings and I can simply say I want to do a drawing rotation of a minute 15. And, and that wouldn't change the um, labels and stuff on, on those lines. So there are a couple of different ways I can, I can tackle that and get just what I want. But I wanted you to see that undo in the rotation. And of course, it's available in the translation as well.